Hello again, everybody. It's the American Doofus Show. I'm your host, Barry Welsh. Don't be a doofus. You can email me at americandoofus at gmail.com or you can find me on Facebook at American Doofus and message me there. It is uh, the 29th of August, seven days away from the Kentucky Derby, September the 5th in Louisville, Kentucky. It's also seven days away from NFAC and uh, Grandmaster Jay's formation, uh, next formation back in Louisville. Um, I'm going to talk about that in a couple of minutes, but something happened in Kenosha, Wisconsin this afternoon. There was a rally for uh, Jacob Blake and uh, some powerful speaking going on. Um, A black man from Chicago got up and said, it's time to start killing white people. And uh, a group of uh, a, a, a group of black men moved away. I'm assuming they were people of Kenosha and didn't want to associate with that. Uh, but I'm not sure what exactly happened because all the live feeds stopped right then. Um, I'd been watching a couple of different feeds and, and um, everything just stopped. Now, normally that footage is archived and you can go back and watch it, but I haven't been able to find that yet. I'm, I'm going to keep looking, but... Something happened in Kenosha this afternoon. Uh, hopefully nothing nothing major, um, but uh, we'll keep an eye on what's going on in Kenosha tonight and through the week leading up to Louisville. We do know there was looting and rioting and burning and murder in Kenosha. And uh, looting and rioting and burning don't help the cause of, of peace and equality. Uh, I understand the frustration uh, behind it, but small business owners, insurance may not cover the damages. And, uh, you know, if you got to destroy things, destroy corporations or, or, you know, and I'm not condoning any of this. I'm just, I'm just saying, if you, if you go, if you're going to do it, don't target small businesses and especially small businesses in communities of color. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. Rioting and looting is going to happen. More murders are going to happen. Sadly and and horrifically. But I can't help but notice that the same people that condemn property damage as a result of many murders. Sure, murder is a response to property damage. A friend of mine sent that to me. Let me repeat that. It cannot be helped but noticed that the same people that condemn property damage as a response to many murders cheer murder as a response to property damage. Think about that. Think about how asinine that really truly is. But it's true. There's so much hate. There's so much venom on the Internet. (sighs) People feel empowered to hate. And, and and it's just sad. I don't watch a lot of YouTube shows. Uh, I do try to keep up with the NFAC and Grandmaster J. Uh, haven't been able to do so for a few days as far as, um, as um, anything other than what's been happening live. Uh, but there are... Um, there are some internet shows that, uh, that people, have recogni- or people have recommended that I take a look at, uh, four to be specific, four white shows to be specific, The Angry Viking, uh, Heavy Duty Country, uh, Bow of the Fifth Column, and uh, um, the redneck liberal Trey Crowder. Um, I did check out Angry Viking, and I've got some questions. They're, they're rhetorical questions because chances are he's, he's not going to see this, but my first question there's a song lyric um, why are you such an angry young man when your future looks so bright to me um, angry viking what what are you angry about from from what I've seen it, it looks like you've got a pretty good life are you getting paid to be angry by the Republican Party nah, that's ludicrous of course but <laughs> that's what's said about the protesters, they're paid by George Soros, the Democrats. So it's just as ludicrous, but 
nonetheless, when you turn the tables, it's, you know, you, you see how stupid sometimes things can be. We know why the NFAC is coming to Louisville. They're coming to seek justice for the family of Breonna Taylor. Angry Viking, why are you and, and your followers coming to Louisville? It's a legitimate question. If you're just wanting to exercise your Second Amendment rights, you can do that anywhere. Why you come to Louisville? To those that, that deem themselves patriots, there's much more to the Constitution than just the Second Amendment. And do you, do you as a patriot, support the entire Constitution, including the First Amendment rights to protest? Or do you just support the Second Amendment? Because if you only support the Second Amendment, you're not really a patriot, you're just a gun nut. Now, heavy duty country. Um, okay. He's quick to point out if a person of color mishandles a firearm, but I didn't see a single thing about that couple in St. Louis, you know, the the lawyers that were out there on their yard pointing guns at protesters and at each other, and at each other with their fingers on the trigger. They've got felonies, felony charges, by the way, and they spoke at the Republican National Convention, but you don't hear a lot of people talking about that. Just saying. I'm not trying to start fights with, with anybody. I'm just asking questions. I'm trying to get information. I'm trying to get motivation as to why People are behaving the way they behave. Now, Bo of the fifth column, I think he's a pretty smart guy from what I've seen. And, and I kind of feel like he's like me and he's trying to prevent a war. Because when, when the war comes, if and when it comes, it's not going to be just people of color. It's not going to be that simple. It's not going to be black and white. It's not going to be that simple. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be quick. It's going to be horrific and we need to try to stop it. So I recommend you watch Bo of the Fifth Column if you're, a, if you're an avid YouTube watcher and, and you've turned away from network TV and as, as many have. And again, I thank everybody that watches this show and subscribe to it. I greatly appreciate it. Some people have uh, donated to MoneyGram and you know who you are and blessings and some have donated a little bit through Cash App, and I greatly appreciate that. It's, it's. I, I don't beg for money; it's not a necessity. But if you want to support the show, awesome. I, I appreciate it. Redneck liberal Trey Crowder. Uh, he's funny. He he made me laugh when uh, when there's very little to laugh about, and uh, I thank him for that. And I recommend you subscribe to him, but. Seriously, Angry Viking and the Angry Viking followers, why are you going to be in Louisville? Do you oppose justice for Breonna Taylor? I wouldn't think so. Do you want to start a shooting war between black and white? I sure hope not. It's a legitimate question. You can exercise your Second Amendment rights anywhere. Why Louisville on September 5th? Is it because of the NFAC? It's dangerous. It's dangerous to individuals. It's dangerous to, I used to say the white community, but it's the white population because we're not a community. We're incredibly divided, just as other, other populaces are. Let's keep talking. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to engage people that, that need to be engaged, need to hear motivation, need to hear why. They're legitimate questions. Again, I'm not trying to piss anybody off, just asking some questions. It's the American Doofus Show. I'm your host, Barry Welsh. Don't be a doofus. Until next time, it's a dark world. Be light and stay alive. Love y'all.